All right, guys, welcome back to Mafia 3. You know, this game's been on my radar for quite some time, and there's a good reason for it. Uh, as soon as I saw that this will take place in the 60s, in New Orleans, and then when I saw this character and who he is and start like reading more about this character that went through Vietnam War and came back well both of the characters even in the Mafia 2 during the World War 2 the guy came back from World War 2 this guy came in from Vietnam so they're both kind of in, in the same wavelength and uh, but this is set in the 60s and New Orleans Louisiana 1960s this is like a breeding ground for criminals and all sorts of drug dealings and whatnot, right? It still is the dangerous city out there. If I have to choose, I'd say between Detroit and I'd say New Orleans still be still is the most dangerous city out there. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's start this. Remember, this is the upscale version of the game running on Xbox One S. And I know that for some of you, I have to prove that that it is and there it is hold on let me adjust it let me adjust it. here we go right there hopefully you guys saw that let me push it backwards a little bit there you go all right uh, what should I medium or I'll put on easy man that's it aim assist high uh, why not so here it is. Here's the beginning of the game. I'm running this upscaled to 4K. And remember, not every game is going to look good on upscale. Some games do, some games don't. And I think I already stressed that uh, in my uh, previous videos. So far, Forza, Forza Horizon 3 is the best upscaling game on Xbox One S. And it's the best HDR game you can get. I cannot speak for Gears of War 4 HDR because uh, I don't have HDR. But everyone told me, all my friends who have HDR told me that's the best looking HDR game. Mafia takes place in a fictional version of the American South in 1968. We saw it create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very troubled time and place. We find the racist beliefs, language, and behavior some of the characters in the game apparent, but believe it's vital we include these depiction in order to tell the Lincoln's Clay story. Most important, we felt that, okay, so whatever. Relax. I don't care about that nonsense. You know, this reminds me of the American Gangster uh, Ridley Scott film. I can see the 2K games taken a little bit from American Gangster from Ridley Scott, like uh, Lewis Black. No, not Lewis Black. Lucas Black. I'm sorry, but that was based on true story. You know, uh, the Lucas Black was the uh, the most notorious uh, gangster at that time. That guy actually uh, transport the heroin through the American uh, caskets, the American soldier caskets, you know, like the dead soldiers, like caskets that he would like put the uh, heroin inside the casket and transport it. I was figuring his father was white. Maybe he was not Italian. Not that it matter. Back then, if you look black, you black. Hey, Mr. Day, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet 
Lincoln Clinton, 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. The quiet boy. Good boy. Two purple hearts, the bronze star, and the distinguished service cross. So they're already talking about him, you know, what he been through, what he has done. So this is like going into flashbacks. Boys like Lincoln, ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it now. Thing is, once that's lost, you never get it. I like the story. It's this pretty good, uh, pretty good story intro so far. But let's get back to the upscale, uh, guys. I don't mean to spoil too much of this game, but uh, the upscale is pretty good. The upscale is very good, actually. As a matter of fact. And remember, this is upscaled uh, through my TV. I'm gonna switch it back to 4K. All right. So in about three seconds, I'm gonna switch it back to 4K. I still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Okay, we're back to uh, upscale to 4k that was actually upscaled to 1080p via my TV and it looked good Peanut. now let's see how this looks this is pretty good upscale man He's in another room. Him so we can get the hell out of here Not bad, actually. This is not bad. This uh, this is a very uh, good upscale. Hey man, grab those keys. I am. I am gonna grab them. Chill. Still not sure about leaving him like this. You can't do it with the truck just like we asked. You agree to partner to make it look good. If you got nuts, I take the chance. And this is where I meant when I said, you know, jagged, getting rid of those jagged edges, you know. See how smooth those jagged edges with the character? They're smoothing out. They're not like as bad as they are, for example, if I was to do them with uh, 1080p upscale. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. Leave no uh, witnesses behind. Now we're going to throw the sucker. Alright, what am I going to throw him at? Oh, feed him to the gators. We can do that. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Hold on, I got to feed him to the gators, dude. Feed the gator. Time to feed the gators. Here we go. This is how we do it. The trolls are hungry. Now, where the gators? Oh, where? I need to find a place to drop them. I can feed them. Hold on. Already. There they are. There's the gators. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the part one. Hopefully you enjoyed it.